Hey guys, welcome back to Daniel Rosal on YouTube, Jerusalem and Israel Unpacked. Continuing with the dubbings in English of the Hamas interrogation tapes, we're going to be looking today at a second and shorter interrogation tape than the previous one uh, that was uploaded earlier. This uh, particular tape was uploaded onto YouTube by Stand With Us, which is an Israel advocacy organization, and its title is From the Interrogation of a Hamas Terrorist, who was captured during the uh, attack on Kibbutz al -Umim. And uh, the original footage here was released by the Israel police to give the proper credit. So let us go and uh, I'm going to dub this. My role as an engineer and soldier in the Hamas ground forces. We were talking about the raid you did. Yes. So tell me a little bit more about that raid. So all the battalions were supposed to take part in the raid, the battalions of Hamas. The plan was for jeeps to attack the kibbutzim, the Israeli kibbutz communities. So we were on the jeep and then we disembarked from the jeeps. The gates to the kibbutz were open. So there were people from Hamas who went in advance in order to open up the gates. Everything was coordinated in advance. So we arrived at the kibbutzim with our jeeps. We opened the rooms and the houses and we started to raid them room by room, one after the other, until we finished. But what, do you, uh, what did you do in those rooms that you raided? So we threw in grenades and we opened fires on civilians. But what was the goal? The goal was to kill. To kill who? Anyone who was in the room and the houses. What does that mean? Women, children, everyone. Anyone who was in the house, we were there to kill. You told me there was uh, someone who asked how we were supposed to return from the raid in Israel back into Gaza, correct? And what was he told? Work out, figure it out for yourself, basically. Meaning you're going in there and there's no coming back to Gaza. You're going to go in, not to come back. It's different in the mosques from in the army. In the mosques, they tell us to take you know, mercy on women and children, show compassion. And in the army, which he means Hamas, they tell us to kill, just massacre them all, kill, kill all of them, women, children, men, so on and so forth. In the religion, in the mosques, they say it's forbidden to kill children, women and the elderly. But in the army, in Hamas, the commander will explicitly tell you, stomp on their heads, behead them, do whatever you want with them. I don't understand, that's according to Hamas and not Islam. And he says, yes, Hamas. So your sheikh gave you a sermon that you have to kill and respect all. The battalion commander says, kill them, stomp on their heads, chop off their legs. Look at Hamas and look at Daesh, ISIS. What's the difference? What's the difference between Hamas and Daesh? Because of the beheadings, people are comparing us right now between Hamas and Daesh. Hamas be became Daesh. Daesh burns, ISIS beheads and butchers. And Hamas basically, through its barbarity, became the same thing as Daesh. How did that happen? There's no brains in Hamas. They're not really human. Because you became what? The, the Hamas became animals. It's just not a natural thing to do. Beheading people, having sex with dead bodies, raping dead bodies, meaning the body of a dead young woman. It's a body. It's not human to do that, to rape that person. And things like that happened? Oh yeah, they did happen, for sure. 